Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this particular chapter, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we are going to focus on what are the unitary matrix and what are the orthogonal matrix. So let us talk about the same. <music> So unit, unitary matrix is nothing but if we take any matrix A and its complex conjugate that is A theta is found out and if we take the multiplication of A theta and A and the product comes out to be unit matrix that is I then the matrix A is said to be a unitary matrix. So if we focus on A theta into A is equal to I so let us take the determinant that is mod values of the same mod a theta into a is equal to mod i and we know mod of i unit matrix is nothing but the one therefore mod of a theta and mod of a is equal to one which is not equal to zero this is very important therefore mod of any matrix A should not be equal to 0. So, in order to find any unitary matrix, its determinant value should not be 0. And this is the point to remember. Now, in the examination, you will be given any matrix A and the corresponding matrix A theta, which we are supposed to find out and take the multiplication. And then we are supposed to prove whether the given matrix is unitary or not. So, in order to find the inverse of the same using the same formula let us focus on the same so as we know in unitary matrix a theta into a is equal to i so if we multiply this particular equation that is we call pre multiplication and post multiplication here we'll perform post multiplication a theta into a into a inverse so here also i into a inverse so now any number which is multiplied by i which is 1 in algebra it is going to be the same number such as in matrix any matrix when gets multiplied by unit matrix the answer is same in this case the answer is going to be a inverse and a into a inverse is nothing but the i and a theta will be as it is here also a theta into i is going to be a theta is equal to a inverse. So this is the formula. In unitary matrix, the inverse of the same is nothing but its transpose conjugate. And this is what the point of remember point to be noted. So in order to understand what is orthogonal matrix, so any matrix A when multiply its direct transpose here we are not talking about any conjugate or transpose conjugate it is just pure transpose of the same matrix a into a transpose is nothing but i which is the unit matrix if the multiplication is said to be and derived to be an unit matrix yes then we call any matrix a as orthogonal matrix so let us focus on the same let us take the mod that is the determinant of the same therefore a transpose into a determinant or mod of the same is nothing but mod of i which is going to be one now it's very important to notice this is nothing but a transpose into determinant of a is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 this is very important step therefore mod of a or the determinant value of a should not be 0 when the determinant value of a is not equal to 0 is called non-singular matrix so for all singular matrix that is the determinant value of a is equal to 0 these matrices cannot be called as orthogonal matrices 
because a transpose into a is equal to i this condition won't be satisfied any time so basically we are going to focus on how to find the inverse of the same a transpose into a is nothing but i therefore here we are post multiplying by a inverse so a transpose into a into a inverse is nothing but i into a inverse i into a inverse is nothing but multiplying the same number with one which is going to be a inverse and now a into a inverse is nothing but i so a transpose into i is nothing but a inverse therefore we call a inverse is equal to a transpose so in unitary matrix we have got a inverse is equal to a theta that is transpose conjugate of the same matrix so we don't need to perform any step or any operation or any method to find out what is the inverse of the matrix we just need to take the transpose conjugate in terms of unitary matrix and that that in terms of orthogonal matrix we are just supposed to take the a transpose of the matrix so that was all about orthogonal matrix and unitary matrix thanks for watching this video Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda.